let's see how we can provide answer to this. It has been on a timeline for some time. So this is a, a circle theorem question. We need to bring out all the properties we can remember before we can be able to get the answer. What we are looking for is the angle Z, Y, W. Z, Y, W. This very angle, which is part of the triangle W, Z, Y. All right. Now, the easiest property we can spot out, angle at the center is twice the one at the circumference, subtended by the same chord or arc. So we can easily find this angle as the start. So I'll be saying that this angle, angle X, O, Y equals to twice the angle X, W, Y. You can see that this is a chord. Substand this angle at the center 60, substand the same angle at the circumference. So that will be uh, two times this, give us this one. And already we know this. So we can only divide by two to find this very angle. So the property is, so if that is out of the way, let's just say our angle X, W, Y will be equals to this very angle. We already know as well. 60 degrees divided by two. And that gives rise to a 30 degrees. The moment we know this, we can say that from the triangle X, W, Y, the bigger triangle, X, W, Y, we can add the interior angle. So we can start by finding, already we know this, we know this. So this is the only angle left. So we can say angle W, X, Y plus the angle we already know 80 degrees plus the angle we just found 30 degrees to so give us 180. I believe you can remember that property. <clears throat> and that is going to be the sum of the angles in the triangle. So, so the sum of angles in the triangle will give us 180. So let's maintain the angle W, X, Y equals to 180 minus the sum of this will be 110, right? Let's check 20 here, 10, so 110. And that gives rise to a 70 degree. So what happened? This very angle will be 70 degrees. So if that is 70 degrees from the same triangle, we know this is known. This is known. This is known. So we are able to find all the angles. Now, all that we are doing is because we are looking for this. Before we can find this. Because in the sum of a triangle, at least two of the angles must be known. So now, if I leave every other line and pick W, X, Y, Z. That is a cyclic quadrilateral. And there's a property that connects them. Meaning the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. Meaning the angle here plus this angle must give us 180. The angle here plus this must also give us 180. So if we are going to use that property, we can easily find this. So what do we do? We can say that angle WZ Y plus the angle we just found, what do we get? 70 degrees. So give us 180, which is what? So the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral add up to what? 180, meaning they are supplementary. So we can easily get the angle WZY to be 180 minus what? 70 degrees. And I believe that you still give us what? 110. Just like that. So, 110. So, we know this. We know this. This is what you are looking for. We are going to be the sum of that triangle. So, 
So what do we do? We can say that from the triangle WYZ, we can add 45. So if the 45 is there, then this very angle we are asked to find, and the Z, the angle at the Z. I believe we found that angle also as 110. So plus 110 plus our angle now will be angle Z, Y, W, all must give us what? 180. And I believe the property we are going to use is the sum of the interior angles of a triangle. It is already stated. So let's maintain our angle W, Y, W, no, Z, Y, W equals to 180 minus the sum of this will be 155, right? So let's see what that will be. And that will give us 25 degrees, meaning this very angle the question is asking for is just 25 degrees. I believe you follow through. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and comment. Bye-bye.